Azizi bin Ayob is medical director at Questra Medical Research uh, and he joined us to discuss the potential for clinical trials in Africa and particularly in Mauritius. I had a chat to him a couple of days ago. Let's have a look at that conversation. When we talk about clinical trial, uh, there are few uh, infrastructures need to be understand. For instance, it has to be uh, the group of uh, researchers aware of the system, the policy, the guideline, both local and international guideline. That's number one. Number two, we need to have so-called the infrastructures in clinical trial. For instance, the uh, clinical research center must be in place, the uh, document and system to uh, manage the clinical trial must be approved by the government and also the team. The third uh, factor is also the support from the government. In this uh, case, when I look into this, all these three factors, uh, in Mauritius, uh, I do understand that there is a legal framework which to allow clinical trial to be carried out. This is based on the clinical trial act being approved by, national, uh, by the uh, National Assembly of Mauritius back in 2011. With this uh, legal framework, it gives uh, different opportunity and development for Mauritius to carry out clinical trial and also to give uh, opportunity and to invite more international, international sponsors from overseas. So with this uh, so-called uh, uh, support from the government, I do believe that more and uh, international uh, partners will come and look into this uh, possibility and take this opportunity to carry out trial in Mauritius. Azizi, is there a, an international market in clinical trials? It sounds like it. So for uh, a country to be favoured for clinical trials, what do they have to make it easy for you to do? What are the kinds of things that Mauritius uh, has done to make it easy for you? Uh, okay. When we look into this uh, uh, possibility, of course we would like to understand what are the support from the government of Mauritius to be given to the potential uh, sponsor, international, international sponsor. In this case, uh, I've been informed that uh, the Board of Investment of Mauritius has given, has uh, put up the, the international guideline for us to submit our proposal to carry out clinical trial. That's number one. Number two, there is the National uh, Commit Research Committee of Mauritius, which will look into the proposal that we uh, proposed to be approved and to carry out in the research. And the third, uh, um, the third uh, factor that which I think is uh, quite uh, important here, the uh, stability of the government, the, uh, the numbers of uh, patients and also the numbers of uh, investigators, which I think uh, they are also in, in a great uh, interest to carry our research. What uh, kind of money are we talking about here and wh how does money change hands with this kind of thing? Do you rent facilities? Do you, uh, you've got salaries to pay? Is it a degree of foreign investment uh, substantially for Mauritius? Oh, okay. Well, when we talk about uh, how much money that we can bring in, we talk about like a chicken and egg, which come first. So in clinical research, we always start with we do need to have the infrastructure in place. We do need people who basically understand what is clinical research all about and the team of researcher, the team of clinical researcher and also the sport research. From this uh, setup, people will look into and pour the money according, accordingly and they also need to understand what are the system in place. So with this, if the system basically for the research system in place of high quality data can be uh, developed in this uh, in, in Mauritius I'm pretty sure that the international partner will pour the money here by bringing uh, a number of clinical trials in Mauritius as well as Mauritius can be the getaway for others African